Hello programmers, welcome back to my tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9, but if you're still using Swift 3, then this should work fine for you. How awesome it will be if we can pass data from one view controller to another. Good news is that it's possible and that is what we are going to do today. So let's get started. Here I have already created a layout. I have two view controller. One has a label, text field and a button. Another view controller has one label. What we will do is we will display name which was typed in main view controller here on our label in second view controller. So let's quickly perform outlet connections and embed in nav controller. So first of all, we will embed in our nav controller. So just click on the first view controller, go to editor, embed in and navigation. Okay, just press command Z and embed in navigation controller. Now we need to create one more Swift file for our second view controller. So it will be new file, Coco Touch class, and it will be called second view controller, subclass of UI view controller. Create and we also need to assign our second view controller with our new file. So it will uh, go to identity inspector, start typing second and just hit enter. And we will pass, uh, select our first main view controller, control drag from that yellow button to next view controller and say show. And it will be named, uh, click on the segue and go to identity inspector and give it name second VC and hit enter. So let's start connecting our uh, text field name, uh, text field label and continue button. So this will be name field. We actually don't need to connect this name button, uh, name label. So let's skip it. Let's connect our button. So continue pressed and it will be of action and type UI button. Now let's select our second view controller, select our label and yeah, it's our second view controller. Just control drag here and say display label and hit connect. So we are done with the storyboard part. So let's hop over to our view controller, which is our main view controller and standard editor. So here we have our name field. And what we will do is first of all, when continue is pressed, we will perform segue. So it will be perform segue with string identifier. It will be second VC. Uh, identifier here is supposed to be same as this one, the segue, this one, and it's here, it's second VC. So I actually typed it wrong and I'll just paste it here. And sender will be self. So let's quickly run this application and see what happens. Okay, so the iPhone is loading. So the application has loaded, but when we press continue, we don't see anything here. Even if we type something, continue, it does not show up here. So let's start coding. So under second view controller, we have this display label. That's what we need to access. So under our main view controller, just hit enter after continue pressed and start typing prepare. And uh, this is the method we need prepare for segue. And now we need a uh, object of our second view controller. So it will be if let destination is equal to segue dot destination as second view controller and open parentheses close parentheses and it will be destination dot display label dot text equal to let's for now say welcome because uh, this is a wrong way of doing it and it will cause an error but I I will just show you so the application has started when I hit continue 
There is a uh, fatal error which says unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping an optional value. So basically what happens is display label does not exist yet. So when we perform segue, the view controller loads. So it's not there yet. So we need to create a variable in our second view controller. So let's call it variable name and it will be of type string optional and under here we will say if let name to display is equal to name so if name is not nil so it will be display label dot text equal to name to display so we are done with the second view controller part now we need to code in view controller so we will just say Instead of display, display label, we will access the variable. So it will be name. Okay, I forgot to save. So just say command save. And over here, just say name. And you have it now. And it, this will be name field dot text. So let's uh, run the application once again. And it should work this time. So let's say Yash Patel and hit continue and it's here. So if we go back and change it to let's say welcome, it displays welcome. So this is how you pass data from one view controller to next view controller. Thank you guys. Keep watching and please subscribe for more future videos.